And all of this may sound, if there's people on here that don't know us like that, all y'all like, yeah, sure, okay. That sounds real religious. I'm telling you, no, it no, was this helping. Is, this, is, this is literally it, what It was what helping. Happened, you it know? was helping. Um, and it made labor, even though I had a drug that was supposed to make my labor longer and harder, I didn't feel contractions till after 11 p.m. And my son was born at 2.48 a.m. That was like, my active labor phase was so short, it didn't even make sense how short it was. Yeah, the nurse, you know, we said, well, you know, she's on Pitocin, so, you know, when do you think, when do you think he's going to, you know, be born? Mm -hmm. She was like, oh, he'll probably be born, like, by noon tomorrow. Yeah. (laughs) And she she wasn't even joking. Like, she was serious. She was like, maybe after the end of my shift. I said, what time does your shift end? She was like, 7 a.m. I said, oh, no. Ain't nobody got time for that. Um, and so she she was she, she, she was predicting know, she like said a, it takes a while yeah she was predicting you know over twelve hours you I know said, mm, of labor and so no. uh, <laughs> but, but the the whole the whole active labor process for us was three hours and she even attested to the fact that that was amazing um, and everything you know I remember there was one part in the and teamwork was real key like we had to work together you know yeah um, and there was one part in the process where uh, it was probably the hardest part. Here. Uh, where I was really tired and so was she. And um, these contractions were coming, you know, they were coming like... So in, close together. And they were, they were like in couplets. And so you'd get like a big one, then a little one. Then you get mm-hmm. a little pause, a big one, then a little one, you know. Yeah. And it's like we had to find a rhythm, you know, for helping each other. Yeah. You know, one of the things people talked about was like, man, yo, your wife is going to lash out at you. When oh, that yeah, pain that hits her, stuff. she going to smack you. She going to bite your hand. She Look, gonna cuss you she out. She gonna cuss you out. Like you sure you want to be in there, dog? You sure? You know, and none of that happened. None, none of, of it happened. happened. Like I wasn't like at screaming at the top. <laughs> like, she didn't scream once. Nothing. nothing. Even while I'm pushing, she didn't scream. Nope. And you know, I mean, we <laughs> like don't watch TV and have man, all this stuff in your head. It's TV, like, y'all. It's I'm not serious. even real. You do not have to give birth like that. If you do. No judgment, but it's like we get those mental pictures in our head and we have to fight against that too. Yeah, it's like TV, against you know? everything that we've been told that childbirth is. And yeah. it does not have to be like that. Exactly. So. Yeah. Exactly. It's, it's nothing, nothing like, like it. that. It's nothing yes. Like it. Thank you. TV it just over dramatizes like it. So anyway, so we were but there was this one part where the stretch where those where they were coming pretty fast and but we were also tired. Yeah. And so it was hard. So she pushed for one. So we found this rhythm where she would she would lay in the bed and I would look at the screen, you know, so I could tell when one was coming because I was looking at the numbers. And so I kind of brace. And what she would do is she would need to lean up just a little bit to get through the contraction. Yeah. And so she would put her hands out. I'd grab her hand yeah, and come so with her lean and up. then come back. You know what I mean? And sometimes we'd confess a scripture at that point. Mm-hmm. Those are really hard points. I remember that. You know, that was like before the transition part. Um but, there, you know, that that's another thing. I mean, we were, you know, we, we had to work as a team and it was very key. Uh, we had to fight the spirit of fear. Yeah. Um, you know, we had to come against um, anything like that. We did not go on Facebook. Uh, yeah, we didn't. I didn't say, uh, hey, y'all. <laughs> live from to, delivery room. I'm headed to the um, delivery. He says, where's the psycho lady? <laughs> yeah. I mean. Yeah. Like, no, it's she, not like that. I mean, it was, we were, we were together in the process and, um, you know, that, that was just, you know, that was just where we were, you know? Um, and so, you know, we, we went through the process and it was, uh, it was amazing. Hey, you know, man. people told me, you know, man, like the man, you know, the, the, the guy, the, you know, the, the husband, like, you sure you want to see all that? Like, you know, you might want to, if you're going to be in there, stand at the other side of the bed. Cause you know, you, you might pass out when you see all that, you know, y'all look, they was like, <laughs> <laughs> they was like, Hey, you want to help? <laughs> I'm like, yeah. He's like, sure. I was like, all right, grab her leg. You know, Rodney so, was amazing. And so, thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, see? Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I, I wanted to see. I saw his little head come out, and it was so exciting. <laughs> it was so exciting. Like, when it like did not feel little. Of course. <laughs> Stop. Actually, he got a big. He head got like Rodney's big old head. <laughs> but you know, he. You know, like when she did the first set of pushes and. I could see just like a little. <laughs> <laughs> no, you did experience that part. <laughs> but you know, I, I I didn't pass out. You know, I mean, to me, it was amazing. You know, 
his little curly head was coming out. I was like, oh, snap. Look at I was like, oh, his head is there. You know, so I was getting excited. And he came out in three pushes. And right after three pushes, you know, he came all the way out. And when they held that boy up and was like, this is your son, I was just like, wow. <laughs> he came it, out like, ah! it was it Screaming was just, his head off. <laughs> it was it was such an amazing feeling. It was um, awesome. It was really awesome. And um, another thing I did too, different, I stood up because yeah. at the last hour of childbirth or so, I did everything standing up because I just couldn't take it anymore. The bed was that uncomfortable. I remember, I remember the distinct point where I was just like, I have to get out of this bed. Like, I can't, I can't <laughs> do it. Get me out of this bed. They're like, do you want to walk the hall? Do you want to do I said, I don't even care me out of the bed so yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey shell how you doing hey, honey? Michelle. so they helped me get out the bed and i was like what do you have do you have a birthing stool do you have a birthing ball do you have and they were like yeah we've got this we've got that i said bring everything, bring everything. just yeah. bring all the things <laughs> so right. they went to go get the stool they went to go get the ball i was like tub okay yes let's get in the tub can y'all run the the, the tub was like really big so it took a long like you know for it to fill up so they started running the water for the tub the stool was like i I didn't know the stool was to the ground y'all that birthing stool was really close to the ground yeah i thought it was gonna be it was like the equivalent of sitting in a in a kindergarten chair and i was just like um so i sat on it for a little bit and then when the contraction hit, I was like, yeah, this ain't comfortable. Um, let's get up. <laughs> let's get up and do something else. But I but I still I never like felt like, oh, I need an epidural now. Oh, I need it was just like, let me just do something different than what I've already been and doing. And she wasn't trying to prove anything to herself. Like she wasn't trying to prove that she was tough. She just never thought about it. Yeah, I, I was like, I was focused. I had my attention focused elsewhere. And I think that that was just key um, like like during the process of preparing childbirth you know she had been meditating on this so much i think to the point that this the, this the thought of an epidural just wasn't there you right. know what i mean like she had conditioned her mind to such a degree that it just it just wasn't a thought at the moment you know and so if any of you are like believing for you know a natural childbirth or a supernatural childbirth like that you know just start preparing your mind you know especially mm-hmm. if you find out you're pregnant just start Please confessing start early preparing like, your like mind. don't don't wait till you till you get in there you know right. what i mean all of a sudden start believing cuz when you it, get you in know? the room if your faith ain't built up when you get in the room that's not the time to be trying to do it yeah. when you get there it's either there or it ain't yeah. um and you really want to um, um have level your spiritual level you want to just be on point with that um it makes it so much easier so the standing up the moving around all of that helped him drop and i was like okay um they were like let's get in the tub now it was one point where i just didn't know what to do so i just didn't do nothing she just stood up (laughs) she just stood there (laughs) Because I knew the, the stool was not comfortable. And they were like, you want to get on the ball? You want to? And they're trying to move me. And I was like, okay, everybody just stop. Just stop moving. She, she just stood there. <laughs> just stop moving. But the gravity was pushing them down. And so, I was just know. like, we're just going to stand here. <laughs> so I'm holding on to one Rodney with one hand. And I'm holding on to the, the nurse, resident, the, the resident yeah, or the yeah, nurse yeah. or somebody with the other hand. And they, you know, I was like. We just gonna stand here. So I just stood there <laughs> and I was just like, Jesus, what do I do? Jesus, what do I do? 